Well, word on the street is that hot house plants are hot. And one of the hottest is this plant that is here in front of me. And I am with Calvin Owen, Tennessee Tropicals, who's going to tell us all about it. Uh, this is variegated Monstera, different varieties and strains. Um, most popular is the Albo variegata, which is the white and green leaf. Uh -huh. uh, this is the it house plant uh, for everybody now. It's kind of made a renaissance. Uh, it was uh, popular back in the 70s, uh, yeah. especially the green form. I can remember my grandmother growing the green form and she called it Swiss cheese plant because it had those openings in the leaf, sometimes holes and the holes in the leaves and the openings, it's, it's interesting behind that. Uh, the plant naturally grows where it's very windy uh -huh. and it's adapted to uh, thrive in that condition. So the cells in each leaf die selectively as it develops and forms the holes to allow the wind to pass through it so the leaf doesn't get torn. That's fascinating. It's amazing how plants can adapt in their, you know, their home environments to uh, to withstand things like that. Oh, for sure. And it is also a very easy house plant. Uh, they like medium humidity to high humidity. Dry out a little bit in between watering, just never keep it soggy and bright indirect light and it'll grow just fine for and you. And it grows well. Now, these are fairly large specimens. You start with something small in maybe a four inch pot or so? Usually four or six inch pots. Mm -hmm. We have six inch pots through the spring and summer. Mm -hmm. Usually I make a post on my social media pages alerting people to when they become available. Uh -huh. uh, but you never, I never have enough. Right. No matter how many you propagate, right. how many cuttings you take, it's never quite enough. Never enough. Well, it's a fascinating plant. So it's obvious though that from a small plant, you're going to get something fairly large. So it is something you need to have a little space for. Right, you want a, a good plant for a corner uh, right. where it can kind of get tall, bathroom, mm -hmm. good humidity in there. And I noticed that in some of yours they have what looks like a, a wood stake or something similar to kind of help it prop up and grow upright. Right, they typically climb up a wall or a, or a, or tree, a tree, tree trunk, in anything the wild. like that. So you want to be able to provide a wooden stake or a moss pole. Sure. or any of those things to allow it to grow itself up. A lot of people struggle with humidity in their homes. Right, uh, especially in the winter in when the we winter. have the heat on. For sure, and uh, simply putting a, a tray underneath the plant, fill it with pebbles, keep that water in there, and that, that evaporation will uh, help increase the ambient humidity around the plant. Around the plant. Well, this is a fascinating and beautiful plant, and like you said, an old-fashioned plant that has seen a renaissance, and the variegated forms of it are just particularly beautiful. Very nice. This is definitely uh, one of my favorite plants in the whole greenhouse. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel, and like us on Facebook.